Hey boys, in this next video we are going to be discussing our power play setups. So in past videos we've went over our breakouts, our entries, and now we're going to get into the offensive zone and go over our setup. So we'll just pick this up with our power play breakout and get into the setup. Here we go. We're going to use the soft chip option here. Alright, here we go. So, this particular setup is called an overload setup. And the reason why we call this an overload is because if you can imagine the offensive zone, if you take the net here and you split the zone in half, right, we're overloading one side of the zone. Alright, so we have our puck carrier who's always going to set up below the goal line. Okay, we're going to have us another support forward on the half wall. In this case, it's the centerman. And let's say our third guy into the zone, or our F3, is going to be in front of the net. Okay, and then we have our 2D on the point. This particular defenseman is going to line himself up with the net. That's a good guide all right, to, to maintain that overload setup. You don't want to be too wide. Okay, and then there's a huge lane. If puck squirts out you know, top of the circle, this guy can take the puck in for a breakaway. So we want to keep these guys close together and a good guide. For yourself is not to get past the net okay so what happens in the event if we're going to switch sides because we can't always set up on the same side you know we could be handling the puck you guys could be passing back and forth a loose puck comes up you get into a battle and you know we have to for whatever event switch sides so where does everybody go so let's play that out Alright, pretty simple. Left winger who was in front of the net, right, is now going to become the support player on the half wall. Sermon who was on the half wall originally is now going to come to the front of the net. Alright, so we have a nice triangle set up here. And then the D are just going to switch sides. Again, defense, you want to be in line with the net. Okay, so let's play that out one more time. We'll just pick this up over here. Soft chip, enter the zone, get that puck below the line, wait for your help to come. We've got a switch, and we're switching. We'll give you a couple of 3D looks at that. Pick this up right here. Here we go. Overload one side of the zone, and we got a switch. Now I just left the penalty killers here just for video purposes, but they'll probably come over with you. All right, one last look at this. Get a switch. All right, again, in the setup, we always have, you know, some triangles formed here. We have a triangle here, we have a triangle here, triangle here. All right, the idea of the power plays when we get into our options on our offensive options is you want to create little two-on-ones with the penalty killers, which will allow you a scoring opportunity. Okay, so let's get into our next part here, which is... Let's say there's a loose puck, you know, goes, goes back to the point and we have to retrieve the puck. What happens here? So we're just going to play this out. I didn't put any penalty killers here, just again for video purposes. So what happens? So we'll just play this out here. Goes back to the D, goes back to center, and we lose the puck. Alright, quick little recovery. So let's just go back over that. So what's happening here? We missed the net. Now, whenever there is a loose puck, especially on a power play, a 5-on-4 particular power play, we want two men, two players on the puck ASAP. Okay, so it's ideally it's be the two closest players to the puck. So in this case, 
Now, I don't care where you are on the ice. It's the two closest players on the puck. So what, what our goal here is to retrieve, to win the puck battle, and then to get back into our setup. So in this particular case, it's a left winger, and it's the right D who are closest to the puck. All right, so they're going to try to beat the penalty killer to that puck, win the battle, try to get it back to our, our winger, our support player who's down here, and then we go back into our setup. We win the battle, D recognizes that, and we go back into our setup. So let's take a 3D look at that. We'll just back this up. All right, scoring chance, miss the net. Now we've got to retrieve that puck as fast as we can, get it down low to our support player, and get back into our setup. Play it one more time for you. Again, it doesn't really matter, you know, what position you are on the ice. It's the two closest players to that puck have to recognize that they have to get be first of the puck, win the battle. And then we can go back into our setup. We don't want to rush things. We want to take our time on the power play. Again, but it's very important that we have two players on each loose puck. And we definitely have to have to win the puck battle. Alright, so the last thing I want to go over here is... Uh, we'll talk about two power play setups. Again, the first one went over is called an overload. Because we're overloading... This the side of the zone, the one side of the offensive zone. Another setup that we can go into is called an umbrella setup. Now this is a little bit more advanced setup. We will get into this a little later on in the season. Once you guys can perfect and are familiar with the overload, we will actually get into an overload to umbrella transition which will really mess up the penalty killers okay, and open up a lot more options on the power play. But I'll just introduce it to you here in the video however beginning of the year we are really going to try to work and perfect this overload setup so here we go here's what it looks like so everything looks the same in the overload and now we're going to go to our umbrella why we call it an umbrella setup is because it basically looks like an umbrella here's the top of the umbrella and then here's i guess you would call the handle okay this provides this particular defenseman with a couple of more options. You can use this guy as a one-timer. You can use this guy as a one-timer. If, if the lane is open and you want to get a shot on net, you have two screen options. All right. If the puck happens to go to the centerman, the centerman, again, has a lot of options. He can go back to the D, he can go to the high slot, or he can take a shot. Same thing with this D. He can take a shot, he can go to the high slot guy, or you can go back to the middle of the ice. Again, I'm going to show it to you again. Um, we will get into this once we perfect the overload setup. So, all right, a couple different looks at it. You know, a lot of NHL teams use this particular power play setup. So, overload. D walks to the middle of the ice, and there we go. Let's take one last look at it. And the last look. Again, I don't want to try to confuse you boys. I just want to we'll, we'll worry about the overload setup. But I would want you just to take a quick look at this umbrella and see how everybody moves into position. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Stay safe and we'll talk soon.